All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry, Beta's been just acting up now. I think it's just being stupid. Um, I really hope they fix this and launch because that's gonna piss me off. All right, so up there, you see that? That was my TV. I just bought that for like four gold. This is my bench. Um, I edited all this. You'll see that in another video. Um, this is my collection of stuff. I don't know. Well, what do we got here? We got a spool. That looks like a mammoth tusk and a scroll from apparently China. I guess we went to China recently. And I didn't know about that. And then there's my beer sign up above my bed. This is my my Vulcans. This is my bedroom. You gotta get down and dirty. And then it's my armor. It's like all bronzish pink, but it looks kind of like a sand fury type of dude when you take out the guns. These are my guns. And then that's the house. And that's the TV. Giant plasma for the game with the boys. I just need a giant sofa for like here. Actually, let's go to vendor. Should we go to vendor and buy another one? Let's buy another couch. Hmm. Containers. Crates, crates. And then we got vendors. Can we buy vendors? I think we can buy vendors. You guys want to buy a vendor? Tables, trees, weapons, and armor. Wow. What's the best weapon and armor they've got? Marauder rocket launcher. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I am totally pre-ordering this now. I don't care what anybody says. Like, I want the beta to work, but I'm still gonna pre-order this game. This this shit's pretty cool. And some of these get buffs, so you gotta pay attention to that, guys. Um, they will give you buffs. Do windows actually dominion cryopod ooh that's pretty cool but there's no buff so fuck that cryopod the chua bed oh they've got a little like crib for chuas that's so funny and it's got the baby thing above it that's pretty funny. I like that. That's a good one, Wildstar Dev. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, even though I probably wouldn't buy it, it's still pretty cool. <laughs> this is really cool though. This is like uh, I got a Drake in bed here. Exile mattress, lols. Hey, that looks like my mattress at home. <laughs> Slightly used like file bed, wooden bed. I've got the wooden bed already. That's pretty sick. That was like a pirate ship, kind of. Medical cot. You can buy a med cot. That's pretty funny. All right. Let's see. I don't think they have any vendors. I build do you guys want a bar can you get a bar you type it in and a bar I might actually buy a bar. Oh, that's sick. Bronze gold plated bar. 
That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, audio. I still think I want an audio bot. Speaker bot, what we should do. I don't think it does anything. I might save the gold for now, because, like, unless I can get a buff, there's no point. So. An Elven Fuel Rod. That's pretty sick. Go all scientists in your house and everything. That's pretty cool. Mountain Musa gives a buff. So yeah, the buffs are really nice though. Like you want to have the buffs. Toilet paper gives a buff. Does it really? Wow. And it's only ten silver. I might buy that later. That's pretty funny though. So yeah, this is like a whole nother aspect to the game, guys, that you can you can do. If you don't want to raid and like just do combat, you can, you know, you can always just fuck around with the house. I think this is pretty cool. I think this is gonna be the coolest thing I've seen. This TV though is fucking sick. I want that for the house. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then these are all the lamps you can buy. And put in your house and everything. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, that's pretty sick. <laughs> I'm all demented. I'm gonna like put demented shit in my house. Hanging spotlight. And it's all busted. It's pretty cool. This is a really cool game, guys. Like, I suggest if you haven't checked this out, you know, because you're like I said, your house will give you buffs, and then you have, you know, your uh, let's go weapons and armor, a drake and sword for one gold, a joker's hat. I kind of want like an RPG. But. All right, let's go outside. So yeah, we got our TV. Plasma for the games every Sunday with the boys, and then we got that. I'll buy a bar next if I can. And I got the one chair here. I got no soda or anything, no food. But nonetheless, jumping on my own table because I don't give a fuck. And then we have our bed. It's just a bit big. I bet you my feet don't even touch the bottom. We have uh we have the uh, white trash um couch. And then over here we got the bling one and the rug and yeah, everything else. Okay, let's go. Such a beautiful day outside today. Such a pretty day. Pretty, pretty day. Look at that sunrise. Now, if you remodel, you can always change the sky color too. Look at this. Look at this. Hang on, hang on. Let me speak a little bit. You guys see this? Like, watch me change the sky and watch the weather change with it. It's all snowy. We do fireworks. 
happy land. It's just like fucking rainbows everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. Northern Lights. That's pretty good. I like that one. That looks good. And then we can do outer space. Whoa. Outer space 2. It's all on hyperdrive for you. That's pretty sick, man. That is the coolest thing. That probably scare the shit out of me, though. I always worry about falling off. Starry night. Let's see, let me see if I can get up to the balcony here. Let me just show you guys this. So yeah, there's the moon on the starry night. It's really hard to see, but there we go. Alright. And there's this over here, and I can't do it as we walk. Look at that. Stormy. So it actually starts to rain. That's pretty sick. Uh, Thunderhead. I don't know what that does. I guess that's... Um, light rain with, I guess, thunder. Tornado. Dude, I can't see the house. Where'd the house go? Holy shit. Are you actually in a tornado? Dude, that's fucking sweet. Underwater. War. Display this up here so I can move the mouse down. Portal destroyer. It's so fucked up. Yeah, you can change the sky and everything. Cascade Archway, the entry. Let's check this out. This is the humble entry. So you can actually like put walls on your house. This is pretty sick too. I honestly am about ready to just go pre-order this game. Look at this. So you got this, you can build like a wall archway, and then like if I do walls, do a dark brick wall, giant brick wall, wooden boards, and make it like a jail cell. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The roof, you can change the roof. The door, the red dominion door. That's all pretty cool shit, man. There's some of the coolest stuff. And then let's see here. I'm gonna go to vendor, or not vendor, if we go to uh, remodel. There should be uh, more options. I thought there were more options for this game. So, oh yeah, never mind, there are. Because you can always buy like these things, but you need the kits to do it. So, But like you can build a loot party, magma flow, a meditation beach spot, uh, I bought the moonshire because I hit level 10, uh, the Usan forge which is like, it looks like this, like you can do all these things with this game, and to me, as much as garrison sounds really cool, like, wait, hang on, let me move it over so you guys can see it. As much as garrison sounds cool, um, like, look at this. You can build this on your property in this game. Like, this is a shard spire canyon. So, I'm gonna, and you can just climb to the top. 
basically or try to climb to the top. I might actually build that. That looks pretty fun to try and actually get to the fucking top. Robot workshop. I mean, you do have some forges and workshops that you can build on your property too if you want to speed up uh, instead of having to go back to a city. Spooky graveyard. Um, it doesn't have any pictures, I think. Unless beta froze again. Yeah, robot workshop. Um, like I said, magma flow. We've got a beach here you can check out and meditate on like you're in fucking Hawaii. Large spider land. Maybe you got a giant um, webbing area. And each of these have their own like challenges too, which I thought was really cool. You do like a large crash ship on your territory. Um, ice pond. Hobo train. The hobo train is a what? A, I don't know. A garage dump. So trash, pretty much. <laughs> you can buy a Ferris wheel. Oh no way! That is sick, man. Urban excavation. Some of these are level 50, but you can have a dueling arena here. But this, this is the coolest shit. I mean, there's so many options with this game alone, just for housing, that it, it blows my mind. And like each, like if you guys look at my, uh, or not my remodel, but my landscape, like that was just the house. Okay, well no, that's not the house, sorry. That was like uh, one of the plots. So yeah, that was one of these bigger plots here. And you can always upgrade these so they'll have more. But um, I didn't fill this one up yet, but I filled that one up. You'll find the Enchantment Cavern, but you can like put, you know, these, those things I just showed you in that specific spot and then on top of that you've got these ones so like this one it's a barbecue I could buy a barbecue and if I buy this barbecue it will um, sit back and enjoy some time around the driver queue with your friends and that's what it looks like and then you can build an anti-air defense tower I don't know why I built that place this plug into uh, and then you can do like a floor piano. Oh, dude, that's fucking sick. That's pretty sweet, dude. That is the coolest thing. It's level 50, though, but I mean, that. That is fucking sick. No offense, guys. That is just the coolest. Dominion holograms. Um. And this is for the smaller patches. Like, this is the workshops and stuff mainly, but. This is some cool shit. Like, there's each patch has its own individual stuff you can build on it, which is really cool. Um, an underforge. What is this? It's a small scalable dungeon for. So you can build dungeons even on your fucking land. Like, that's pretty sick. Um, I have this one, but. I can't, um, what is this, yeah, let's remove that, So, um, in order to build the Elden one though, that I have, I think I have to be like level 30. Yeah, it requires level 30 plus. 
I do have the kit, but I just, I can't build it yet. But, like, this is what it looks like. And it's a dungeon for one of five players, basically. And I can build it on my own, my own land, which is really cool. Relic excavations. Um, flying saucers. Um, place this plug in and attempt it. So each each piece has its own land though guys like you know it's got its own territory um, its own land you got hot springs you build hot springs like this shit is fucking sick dude medical station um, so you can build a med bay low graph pad and you actually have to read them so like you know what they do and stuff but it's still pretty cool outhouse you can build an outhouse if someone's gotta go take a shit. <laughs> it's so fucking cool, man. Like, this is this is sweet. I like this. Super weapon test zone. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Totally. Warning: radioactive present in this area. A power generator. Can power any number of defense cannons. <laughs> it's fucking sweet. Bendy machine. Warhorn. The water tower. You can build a water tower. Looks more like a silo for crap, but. <laughs> so pretty cool. Weather control station. Place this plug. Grounding the storm challenge. That's pretty sick, though. It looks cool. The Wind. I actually deleted that. I had that before. Um, Wishing Well. Zen Pond. You can actually build a Zen Pond. I mean, so this shit's pretty fucking storage unit. Oh my god. It's got lasers and everything. Like, really? So high security. This is pretty cool. Meteor Crater. Oh my god. Wow. Um, a kiddie pool? What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I want the kiddie pool now. That looks so cool. That's pretty sweet. The Garnock trailer. So you can build a little trailer house for somebody who's poor. Uh, you said flying saucer before. Firework launcher. Pretty sweet flower garden. You can build your lilies if you're a girl. Expedition Mayday. Oh, dude, that's a helipad. It's a level 40 dungeon, though. That's still pretty cool. Alright. Well, I was gonna build a crafting station, but. I don't really want to wait. I think it's like six days until it's actually done. No, they remain for six days. And then they, I guess you have to repair them. So, there is a limit on them. Um, and then you have to like repair them and whatever. But that's how they keep you playing. Which is fine. I'm okay with that. Um... Go back to the craft pad. And you see a building right there. So it looks like done. So this is pretty sick though. This is like this game has a lot of options to really uh, they want to keep you busy and they keep you, you know, doing stuff. And I think that's the coolest thing. Uh, with this game like granted sure it can be boring at times um when you're leveling and questing in this game but some pretty sweet options here um with also future content to uh, work on so my name is been joy though guys i'm gonna stop this vid and upload the other two that i have for you guys as well as this one and you can uh, watch them on my channel 
Um, but I'm going to log off here for a bit and go read the forums for a bit and maybe watch a movie or something. Because my goal is to get to 25 in the beta. And then after that, I'm probably going to stop. Um, don't ask why. Just I'm not going to uh, continue after that because I wanted to save the leveling experience and the grind and everything for launch and if I go too far I'll get worn out and I won't want to play the game so anyways guys my name is Enjoy um let me see if I can do like an email no hang on take care guys